step into the no-nonsense world of Dragnet 1967, where crime-solving meets classic Hollywood charm, this TV series, featuring a parade of unforgettable characters, keeps you hooked with its mix of funny, shocking, and sad facts. As you journey through the episodes, be ready for surprises that'll make you laugh, gasp, and maybe even shed a tear. The simplicity of this classic show is its strength, offering a straightforward narrative that captivates without the need for frills or theatrics. Who's your favorite among the many roles? Or perhaps, which classic Hollywood actor steals the show for you? Share your most cherished memory or personal experience with this timeless series in the comments below. Your connection to it is what makes it special. Stay tuned for more revelations and continue your exploration of Dragnet 1967. There's always something new to discover in the world of crime solving and classic Hollywood charisma. Keep watching for the unexpected twists and turns. Experience the magic of the show and relive those moments that have become etched in your memory. The characters, the stories, and the nostalgia, it's all part of the journey. Dragnet 1967 stands as a classic television series that debuted in 1967, offering viewers a glimpse into the gritty world of Los Angeles law enforcement. Created by Jack Webb, the police procedural drama follows the dedicated and stoic Sergeant Joe Friday, played by Webb himself, alongside his partner officer Bill Gannon, portrayed by Harry Morgan. Together, they navigate the intricate landscape of crime-solving, tackling cases ranging from robberies to homicides. Set against the bustling backdrop of the city, the narrative unfolds in a straightforward and no-nonsense style, mirroring the procedural nature of police work. Each episode typically commences with a reported crime leading to the meticulous investigative process undertaken by Friday and Gannon. The show is renowned for its realistic portrayal of police work, relying on case details rather than dramatic embellishments. One of the defining features of the series is its adherence to realism, drawing inspiration from actual cases and incorporating authentic police procedures. This commitment to authenticity contributes to the show's enduring legacy. Throughout its run, Dragnet 1967 garnered critical acclaim for its accurate portrayal of law enforcement and engaging storytelling, receiving several awards and solidifying its place in television history. With compelling characters, a realistic approach, and dedication to authenticity, the show remains an iconic police procedural drama that has left an indelible mark on the genre. Its influence can be seen in subsequent police dramas, making it a timeless classic in the world of television. The series' enduring legacy is a testament to its impactful storytelling and realistic portrayal of law enforcement, shaping the landscape of police dramas for years to come. Dragnet 1967, the iconic television series, owes much of its success to the talented individuals who worked behind the scenes. Created by Jack Webb, he took on the roles of both producer and director, showcasing his multifaceted skills. His vision for the show was clear to present a realistic and gripping portrayal of police work. Webb's dedication to authenticity shaped the series, making it a testament to his commitment to storytelling. Behind the camera, Webb was joined by Herb Ellis, a producer known for versatility in handling various aspects of television production. Together, they navigated the bustling world of 1960s television, creating a landscape that captivated audiences and left an enduring legacy. The casting process was meticulous, with Webb selecting actors who could authentically embody the characters. Heading the cast was Webb himself, playing the iconic role of Sergeant Joe Friday. His stoic demeanor and unwavering dedication to the job made him a captivating character etched into the annals of television history. Partnering with Webb was Harry Morgan, portraying Officer Bill Gannon. Morgan's remarkable acting prowess brought depth to his character, creating a dynamic and intriguing duo on screen. The chemistry between the two actors resonated with audiences, contributing to the show's success. Interesting trivia surrounds the casting of the series. Webb's commitment to realism led to the inclusion of real police officers in minor roles, adding an extra layer of authenticity to the show. This unique approach set it apart from other police procedurals of its time. The on-screen chemistry between the main actors, coupled with Webb's meticulous direction, resulted in a series that continues to be cherished by fans. The enduring popularity is a testament to captivating storytelling and the exceptional talents of the creators, producers, and actors involved. 
In conclusion, this classic stands as a remarkable achievement in the world of television with Jack Webb's vision, Herb Ellis's production expertise, and the stellar cast leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of crime dramas. Its legacy remains vibrant, a true classic in the annals of television history. In the realm of crime television, the iconic series featuring Sergeant Joe Friday, known for its no-nonsense style, made a mark without unnecessary embellishments. Operating out of Los Angeles or Orange County, Friday's badge number, 714, coincidentally matched the area code for Orange County phone calls. Sergeant Dan Cook, the technical advisor, secured this number upon his promotion to lieutenant. The retired badge is now showcased at the LAPD Academy's museum. Jack Webb, the mastermind behind the show, drew inspiration from the 1948 film noir He Walked by Night for his opening lines, The Story You Are About to Hear is True. In the film, Webb previously played a crime scene investigator lab technician, laying the foundation for the gripping narratives of Dragnet. The dynamic duo of Gannon and Friday navigated the streets in their distinctive unit, labeled 1K80. This car became synonymous with their crime-solving prowess, symbolizing their relentless pursuit of justice. Through borrowed lines and a distinct car designation, Dragnet 1967 seamlessly weaved a narrative that resonated with viewers, leaving an enduring legacy. The series, a testament to simplicity and authenticity, stands as a noteworthy chapter in television history. During its broadcast, the show's title changed to reflect the respective year. Clark Howitt made a notable contribution to the series, appearing in 21 episodes and portraying various roles, including 12 captains, 4 lieutenants, and 1 inspector a record for the most guest appearances. After the original series concluded, Joe Friday had been promoted to lieutenant. However, for the new series, Jack Webb opted to revert Friday's rank to sergeant. Webb justified this decision by stating that few people remembered Friday's previous promotion and having him as a sergeant again was deemed more suitable. According to Webb, this choice allowed Wood for a more field-centric role, highlighting Friday's hands-on approach to solving crimes. The series, known for its no-nonsense style and authentic portrayal of police work, left an enduring legacy. Its impact is evident in the character dynamics, title adaptations, and the consistent presence of key actors such as Clark Howitt. This straightforward approach, rooted in gritty storytelling and character-driven plots, cemented Dragnet 1967 as a significant chapter in television history. In the television series, the character dynamics brought depth to the narrative. While Sergeant Joe Friday remained a confirmed bachelor, his partner Bill Gannon provided a contrasting family perspective by being married and mentioning four children. Jack Webb, the creator, employed a similar strategy in his other series, Adam 12, where one character was married while the other was not, adding variety to the dialogue crafted by the writers. Behind the scenes, there existed a subtle indicator of episode length. The opening monologue, initiated by Joe Friday with the iconic, This is the City, Los Angeles, California line held a telltale sign. For shorter episodes, Friday's introduction included a tourist-like description of the city's attractions, lifestyle, or history. Conversely, longer episodes skipped the tourist commentary, maintaining a more straightforward approach to the narrative with a concise introduction. Jack Webb, known for his commitment to authenticity, valued the contributions of police officers. He incentivized their involvement by offering a 25 reward for officers who submitted stories used as episode plots. This practice not only enriched the series with real-life experiences, but also acknowledged the hard work of those in the law enforcement community. In summary, Dragnet 1967, created by Jack Webb, stood out for its character dynamics and narrative techniques. The contrasting personal lives of Friday and Gannon added depth, while subtle cues in the opening monologue hinted at the episode's length. Webb's commitment to authenticity extended to the real-life contributions of police officers who were not only a source of inspiration, but also financially rewarded for their valuable input. Episodes from the series served as practical training tools for the LAPD. The authentic portrayal of police work in Dragnet 1967 became a valuable resource for real-life law enforcement training. Jack Webb had plans for another revival in 1982, but faced challenges due to Harry Morgan's commitments. With Morgan tied up with MASH and after MASH, Webb considered casting Kent McCord as Friday's new partner. Unfortunately, Webb's passing in December 1982 halted these plans, marking the end of the proposed remake. 
Friday, and Gannon patrolled the streets in a 1967 Ford Fairlane Ford Doctor. Sedan solidifying their crime-solving image with this iconic squad car. The show's impact extended beyond the screen. Its realism made it a practical tool for law enforcement training, highlighting its influence and authenticity in depicting police procedures. This concise exploration sheds light on the series' dual role as a television show and a training aid for real-life police forces, providing a glimpse into its lasting impact on both realms. In each episode of Dragnet 1967, continuity was maintained through Friday and Gannon's consistent attire, a deliberate choice by Jack Webb and his team. A subtle coat-switching experiment by Harry Morgan went unnoticed until after the scene was shot, showcasing the meticulous attention to detail in the production. Lieutenant Klingon, a real LAPD officer, made appearances in various episodes, offering insights as an advisor to the show. Interestingly, Gene Roddenberry, Louis NFD's PR department alum and creator of Star Trek, named his famous Trek villains Klingons in honor of Lieutenant Klingon. Contrary to popular belief, the iconic phrase, just the facts ma'am, was not uttered by Jack Webb's character, but by Stan Freeberg in a radio parody. This nugget adds an extra layer to the show's legacy, emphasizing its influence even beyond the screen. In the world of Dragnet 1967, these behind-the-scenes anecdotes and subtle nods to real-life police personnel enrich the series, showcasing its commitment to authenticity and attention to detail.